So, so what, what the algae do is essentially they grow um, by converting carbon dioxide that basically is found in smokestacks of coal firing plants and convert it into sugars using the sunlight and then the sugars are converted into vegetable oils and those vegetable oils then serve as the basis for the um, production of biofuels, for example biodiesel and uh, the algae cannot only use the CO2 but they can also use uh, the wastewater streams, the nutrients out of wastewater from a sewage treatment plant and in the end what you get is you have uh, basically um, mitigating, you're mitigating some of the negative effects of a sewage treatment plant uh, which pollutes our rivers potentially, or the um, smokestack that comes, or the, the flue gases that come out of a smokestack from a, a coal-firing plant and basically contain greenhouse gases, and the algae will turn it into something positive that we can use, uh, basically using waste streams to turn it into something useful like these vegetable oils. And the students are very excited about this aspect because um, the students are not just uh, excited about the actual technology, the biology and the, the um, genomics and genetics and all these approaches that we, have, that we basically throw at this problem, but they're really excited about the fact that they make potentially a contribution to society and to cleaning up the environment to have a more sustainable um, environment and, or technologies in the generation of fuels that we need, obviously, into for transportation fuels and so on and so on. And so th that this technology that comes out of this eventually will benefit society and, and make our, um, for our uh, next generations, make life better.